Hello, everyone. We are back here at the Nashville uh, We Funder home, and I am with Haley Zapolsky. I got it right this time. Everyone calls her Zap. She is the manager of employer engagement at Nashville Software School. How are you today? I am doing awesome. Super stoked to be in the WeFunder house using the WeFunder mic. This is like, I'm nervous, but good. It's all good. So uh, starting off, um, on my way coming out to Nashville, I swear I saw nothing but you. Like once I <laughs> once I started following uh, a lot of the WeFunder folks and like other uh, Nashville names, you just kept popping up. And I think um, it's, it's great branding going with zap because you just you just spot it you want to know who that is uh, you're constantly uh in conversation about uh entrepreneurs and founders and so uh when it comes to building the startup community in nashville and seeing your name front and center uh you might be one of the bigger independent gatherers i've seen so far i was wondering one what's the goal for bringing everyone together and two what's your why like what were your early motivations that kind of brought you down this path Mm -hmm, totally um so my goal in bringing people together is I mean I think one it's my skill set I'm really have my best ability is community building and giving people a reason to show up and getting them to show up and talk to each other uh I guess it was always just a personal skill of throwing a great party and at a certain point it's like okay this is a fun hobby but how can I actually use this to make an impact like in my own career and in my own city and then with the intersection of technology um, and specifically startups it just felt like there was a need you know I worked at the entrepreneur center before this which was awesome and but most of our audience there entrepreneurship is just a larger umbrella And then I've been super involved with the Tech Council. They do an awesome job here too. But then once again, so many of their members are just larger corporate technology companies. And there just really was no existing community for these early stage, high growth startup founders. So it was really just filling a need using my own skill sets. And then also, I mean, (laughs) so many of my friends were already founders and I'm like, you guys are so weird. You're so incredible. And I just love talking to the crazy people who are the idea makers, the innovators, and getting them all together in one place is awesome. Um, My why is, you know, I came to Nashville super randomly. Like my, uh, I had uh, someone ask me the other day, like, what brought you here? And I'm like, I came by accident and I'm staying on purpose. Um, But I just knew that wherever I went after college, you know, I didn't really have anything drawing me to any certain place. Um, I'm from Iowa and I didn't want to go there, but I didn't have anything anywhere else. But I just wanted to go somewhere and make it make sense, make enough community ties that it's like I belong here, people think I belong here, and I can change things. So I think my why is just having an impact on this city. And, you know, Nashville's technology scene was already really growing and just on the verge of just, I guess, being a really exciting thing. I think we're still a baby tech city. I think we're still a baby startup ecosystem. But being an early person making moves and, um, hopefully just having an impact gives me a reason to be in Nashville and love what I do. Yeah. So you got here by accident. That is your, that is your personal (laughs) story. What were some of those early things, uh, that kind of like clicked for you? Like, you know what? I'm not going anywhere else. This is a great place to build. Oh my goodness. I love Nashville. Like my dream job is being the saleswoman of Nashville. Like if someone could just pay me to just sell Nashville, like, please give me that job (laughs) and I'd be really good at selling it to tech companies, which I kind of try and do as a hobby anyways. But I mean, Nashville is just great as, okay, so I lived in New York briefly after college and New York ate me up and spit me out alive and I landed here. I'm being serious. I could not handle it there. Like it was just so hard being again, not really having any ties, not knowing what I was going to do in this world, wanting to like find where I fit 
So I think Nashville, number one, it's great because there's so many communities to be a part of. I've never been somewhere like so friendly, you know? I think as a um, young person starting their career, it's a great place to invest professionally. I mean, the city's just hungry for hustlers and it's a great place to invest just financially. It's a little bit cheaper living. I like to go to, I get to go to the nice restaurants in town. You know, I'm not just scraping by all the time. Um, I think it does have really an emerging technology scene. So I think it's smart to be, you know, when founders chat about coming here after being in a big city, I'm like, Hey, you could be a big deal here. Like you could be in the newspaper. You could be talking to our biggest investors. Like you can make waves. And in some of these bigger cities, you might never have that ability. Um, and then I do think it's just a diverse city full of culture, different things happening. I'm obviously into the tech stuff, but I also love, I don't know, being close to farmland and hanging out at my boyfriend's farm and the music scene and the art scene and just a bunch of other like weird Nashville things to do. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the culture and the opportunity. That was like, that was a big, I don't want to say a shock uh, for me because I was in, I've been in the South Um but working here, moving around, the fact that, like, it doesn't matter where you are. You could be at the corner. Somebody's going to walk past, say hi. Mm -hmm. It's probably going to spark into a conversation. And it's just the most genuine of things. Um, it's very inviting. And then there's there's such a, like you were saying, like, a, there's just a low threshold when it comes to overhead, when it comes to um, job market, the community building, the fact that on top of everyone being happy, it's a great place to just prototype life, mm -hmm. uh, com uh, you know, career community and like your, your, your personal, it's like the ability to start fresh, build a new, and then it's like, it's almost like if you were to carry this momentum into New York now, you probably have a much better experience because you were able to start, get your bearings and it wasn't, you know, in, in such a, a, a rushed, um, chaotic manner. Yeah, I think you can really get involved civically here. And in larger cities, you can just get lost in the chaos, I think. Okay, I also think Nashville is has such a heart for, I call them serendipitous connections. And those happen to me professionally and personally of just, you just randomly, there's just more opportunities, I think, because there's greater work-life balance and because people are so open and willing to take a meeting and introduce you to other people to take meetings that you'll just be at a bar and you meet someone, you'll be at a networking event and you meet someone and they just take that chance encounter super seriously. And then those become, you know, co-founders, investors, friends, just people who kind of help you along your journey and you meet them by accident. Nashville really has like a little bit of magic for that, in my opinion. Yeah. And now... You've gone from the Entrepreneur Center to the uh, software, Nashville Software School. How has that been? And what brought you there? Yeah, it's been awesome. I love my job at the EC, uh, but I just needed a new challenge. And I think the software school is one of the best hidden gems in Nashville. And I really wanted, again, I wanted to look at how can I make an impact in building this technology community? At a certain point, I realized, okay, I think I can build these startups like outside of work and actually maybe doing it without the goal to like make money or earn a living is better because selling to startups is like, they don't have a lot of money. Okay, guys. <laughs> but then uh, the software school, they are incredible at creating technology talent, which Nashville desperately needs. And it's exciting because we work to get um, give opportunities to the local talent pool, you know, taking servers, teachers, uh, musicians and training them and giving them the opportunity to learn about technology to become software engineers, developers, uh, data analysts. And it's cool because I'm just a very small part of the puzzle. It's really the students changing their lives, but to watch so many Nashvilleians like enter this, you know, kind of see that like tech is such a great opportunity, take a chance on themselves 
and launch into exciting careers where they're making more money than they ever did before. They have more work flexibility and they're working on really solving really interesting problems that they probably didn't even know about before, you know, coming uh, to the software school. So it's been really, uh, it's been fun. And to see people's lives change and kind of Nashville slowly shift is the coolest part. I love that, uh, those opportunities to uh, invite people to this entirely new world. Because for the longest time, it just seemed like tech wasn't for everyone. It kind of was this uh, elite thing. You can just buy the product and you live vicariously through your Steve Jobs and everyone else. But now that um, we're going more digital and we need more jobs and they have to be open to the everyday person kind of like contributing to the growth of uh, just continued world success, I think is awesome that like it isn't just about the factory jobs anymore, the, uh, the, the, the delivery, the any not to knock any of those positions, but um, we've we're showing that there is more that you can be on a level. Uh, and, and I've been watching folks like literally change their lives because of tech Mm -hmm. uh you're in this you're in this space you have this ceiling and then you get introduced to this you're a natural you become a senior engineer uh something you didn't even know about like a year ago and now you're just you know you create a source for uh, generational wealth because of this new opportunity not just because of the money and the position, but because now you can pass that information on to others inside your family, your children, your siblings, your significant others, uh, and the community around you. And now that we all have this information, we can expand even more and just create more opportunities of just that constant, you know, you lift me up and I reach back and pull you over. I definitely love what you said tech is for everyone. And I think it doesn't always look like that right now. So I understand why people are hesitant and they don't see how they can fit but I think there, there could be so many improvements but as an industry it's more merit-based than a lot of other historical ind- industries and as a culture I mean these companies really want to have diverse teams they know that they are not going to be able to succeed without it uh in sort of this exciting 21st century world so uh it's been cool also at the software school. I mean, our goal is to, you know, add more diversity into technology, but also work with companies who, you know, are partnering with us, but also working on their own projects to say, okay, how can we actually make sure that we're getting different people involved? And it's cool because they really do have to. It's like, it's like, hey, there's literally not enough white dudes graduating from college to learn this. How can we teach other people who might not have been exposed earlier in life, who might not have felt like, hey, this is really for me, and tell them, hey, this really could be for you. And sometimes I almost want to shake people because I think that the salaries that people get in tech is really intimidating. People think, oh, I'm not smart enough for that. I'm not capable enough for that. And I get frustrated because, I mean, it's a supply and demand issue. I mean, for sure, it's a difficult job. I would never, but there's lots of other difficult jobs that pay a hell of a lot less. But it's because there's a lot of people who want to do those jobs, you know? And so it's really about more people are qualified and capable to do it than realize. And I think just sharing that message is something I care about. Yeah, uh, I like to say you can't plan for something you've never experienced. And so, again, the, the ceiling, a lot of it is because of, like, um, just a lack of know-how. Like, you didn't know that this existed, and, and, and you didn't know that it existed for you. So, yeah, it's intimidating, but uh, if the opportunity presents itself, approach it. Whether you landed that round or not, you've just learned so much more. That's going to broaden your horizon so much more and allow you to grow as an individual even more. So that way, maybe the next time around is for you. I actually have a friend like that um, was trying to get her in a WeFunder and the position didn't work out. But now but then now she knew that like, all right, well, this is where I need to be looking tech wise. And it ended up getting another position that was like even a little bit better <laughs> than than the first one. But she wouldn't have known to even look over there had she had not pursued it on this end and so like that is very important to just open people's 
uh, minds up to um, these different opportunities, but then also them taking the next step and opening their own mind up to accepting that this is a possibility for me. Yeah, and that's why I do like having sort of an audience, like you were saying how I kind of am very visible on LinkedIn. And so much of what I want to share, though, is those opportunities. Like, I think obviously the software school, if you want to learn how to code, come to us, please. But I just shared like last week that, you know, there's a program totally for free to become a tech recruiter. And I shared that with all my friends who kept telling me, hey, I don't have any technical skills or like I'm not analytical. I'm like, that's OK. You can do this job. <laughs> If you want to work hard, or I do think with startups, um, you know, there is so many opportunities if you have an idea to at least uh, pursue that and see what's out there before you just let it pass and think, oh, it'll never work out. Yeah. So what's your five-year like outlook for Nashville? My five-year outlook for Nashville? Oh, my goodness. It changes every single day. Okay, I'm excited because I don't even think people know what's coming. So what we do know is I think Amazon's bringing, I think now it's 6,800 jobs. It was 5,000. I'm pretty sure they upped it. Uh, Oracle is 8,500 jobs. Those are, like, the big ones. But think about all those other smaller companies that might not be front page of the news. And then all the companies in the pipeline that we haven't even heard about we don't even know about so I really think there are so many job opportunities coming here my hope is that a lot of these big kind of more corporate companies I really want to give the opportunities to Nashvillians they will definitely be doing recruiting from the outside but I'm excited about kind of the really sharp talent that's to come and I really hope that kind of indirectly feeds the startup ecosystem because people leave those companies but stay in Nashville because they love it to start their own companies and start of grow that startup side of things. Um, and I just prefer startups because, I mean, I love it all, but startups are really homegrown economic development. You know, it's very different when like a company that's headquartered someone, somewhere else brings jobs here. It's really great, but not all of that money is really going into Nashville's pocket. So I love startups because it's like, if you raise money in Nashville, if you build the team in Nashville, uh, and if you hire people in Nashville, then all that money is more focused geographically on this area. So I'm hoping long term it builds the startup ecosystem. And then my big thing too uh, is maintaining the quality of life. Um, so it is hard because I do think Nashville is rapidly changing and I'm super, I'm like all for growth, but I'm also about like smart growth and figuring out how it is going to affect people and I live in Bordeaux which is like a not gentrified area probably besides like my house it's like you're like who is this lady's house I'm serious when people come to visit me it's like I don't know it's just like normal houses that are a little bit older a little bit outdated and then you see my house which is bright blue and yellow no joke and people are like oh this one stands out in the neighborhood but I moved to Bordeaux just because I wanted to see like you know it's the next frontier of growth hasn't hadn't quite hit the area yet and I wanted to kind of be involved in my own community to see like what impact that could have on a very like granular level yeah so, uh, to end things off, you want to be the the saleswoman of Nashville. <laughs> this is the uh, this is your opportunity to uh, to kind of pilot that for the the folks on the outside looking in that are looking for those reasons for you know going to a new place, building family, building community, uh, building professional career. What would be like your initial sell for why Nashville is a great place to kind of like started if somebody were to ask you right now like i am mm-hmm. okay uh i think the people if you want to come to nashville if you're even thinking about it i am happy to have a conversation with you and be sort of that entry point but the value that then i can give is you know hopefully connecting you to three, four, five, however many people that make sense and align with whatever you want to accomplish. Because I think there's a ton of opportunities, but it all flows through the people in Nashville who are willing to meet with you, willing to work with you, willing to hear what you're doing and connect you to more. And 
I just think that's like my value, but I also think that's just the value of our startup ecosystem that looks a little bit different from others sometimes is, you know, there's a slice of the pie here for everyone and that's sort of the attitude and it's a open door policy too. So take advantage and talk to as many people in town who can give you opportunities as possible. Awesome. Sap, you're awesome. Uh, I appreciate the opportunity to finally have this conversation with you. I've been looking forward to it since moving to Nashville. <laughs> and now I get to pop up on your feet as well. Um, uh, I look forward to seeing everything else that you continue to build. Um, looking forward to seeing how I can aid in that. And um, yeah, just again, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. I'm going to give you a high five.